Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to give you a quick Christmas challenge. So the melody that we're going to be looking at is Jingle Bell Rock. On the top strings of the guitar it looks and sounds like this. The chords which are behind this melody are just a C, a C major 7, C major 6, and then back to either a C major 7 or a regular triad. So the chords played in time sound like that. So what I'd like you to do now is look at this sheet that appears on the screen and try to harmonize the melody using the drop two chords, which you can see right there. Pause the video and see if you can do that. If you've never harmonized or created a chord melody before, what you're effectively looking for here is the drop two chord, which has the note on the tab at the top of the chord chart at the top of the voicing. So for example, the first chord is a C major chord and it's got the root as the top note. So we need a C major seventh drop two chord, which has that at the top of the voicing. The next melody note is the seventh. So we need a C major 7th chord, which has that at the top of the voicing. Let's now go over the answers. So for the very first chord, as you heard me play in the beginning, was just this C major 7th drop 2 chord. The next one was this C major 7th chord. And then we went to an A minor chord, which is also a C major 6. And then we went back to this C major 7 chord again, back to a C6. And then we went to this drop two chord right here on strings two, three, four, and five. So in time, if you're more advanced and you're looking for more of a challenge, check out the options which are on screen now. So this is the same melody, but with different chords. As you can see, we've got more of a cyclic progression there. And that will present you with some other ways which you can try to harmonize that. So let me give you the first shot first. Here's the chord chart. Try to harmonize the chord chart with the voicings that you might know. If you did that correctly, then the first chord should be an F9. The second chord should be an E9. The chord after should be an A13 with is the melody note. The chord after that is a D13. Then the chord after that is a D flat seven with a flat 13. And then finally, that C major seven chord there. So that played in time. So why does this work? If you play the first version, followed by the reharmonization, Well, basically the first, the original chords all stay on C and they go through variations of a C chord, but you can also suggest some cyclic movement just because that's what the chords say, doesn't mean to say that's what you've got to play. So you could play the exact same thing with a various number of turnarounds. There's all kinds of jazz theory progressions that will explain what that is, but in short, as long as you're starting your hand here and moving down to where you need to be, it's all gonna work out. Like for example, if we play those same chords, but instead of dominant seven chords for the reharmonization, we use major seven chords, you get this effect. Okay, so there you can hear we started with some major chords. This time we started with an F major nine, E major nine, and then we went to our dominant chords, before the end. Effectively, what you're just doing is harmonizing the melody note and creating tension and interesting notes and interesting chords. So you could play any kind, anything really. As long as it resolves back to a C major seven. So that concludes our Christmas chord challenge. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.